Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Tangu Railway Station. Not too far from the uh, breezy and today rather sunny seaside of Tianjin. Those of you who've been following us on social media will have seen that there might be two Tangu stations. Well, that may not really be the case. So let's check the station out. Tangu Railway Station is a mix of twos. Really. It serves both high-speed and regular rail services, and quite a number of cargo or freight trains pass through the station every now and then. Platforms 1 and 2 are used for slower trains, and CRH high-speed intercity train services use platforms 3 and 4. The newest addition to the station is indeed platform number 4, which was built and ready for so long, but only came into real use as of around 2015. Most of us leaving from platform number 4 would generally use the north exit, although an exit underpass can also get used to the south exit faster. The north exit is also available, and both parts of the station are linked even outside by a footbridge. This is Tangu Railway Station, and we're at the north square, which is a bit more square. If you take a look at the south square, it's going to be a little bit more round. Let's take a look inside the north square and the station building. Here's a tip, if you're looking for a fast way to get your train from Tangu, especially short queues at the ticket office, come to the North Square, where there's quicker access to high-speed intercity trains. But do note that this entrance is only open between 8 o'clock in the morning and 20.30, that's in the evening hours. The exit isn't huge, but it's certainly there. Queues are remarkably short at the North Ticket Office, where there's also a look at ticket availability. Then go through Ticket and ID Check, and you're there. So here you're taking a look at the departure hall for the North building here. Yeah. For the North Square, North Access Point, North Building, closest to platform number four. This part of the station right now is rather quiet. We don't have a train service coming for quite some time. So it's a nice place to just simply relax, chill out before the great big journey of yours begins from Tangu. With plenty of seating available, what I often do is plug the laptop or mobile device and tap away until my train is caught at the main ticket gates. Access to Platform 4 is straight ahead, where there is access to other platforms via an underpass. From outside the station, you can also get between the two squares using a footbridge, where you can also peek out at the railway tracks and if only barely the station platform canopies. The south exit is visibly larger, as most passengers coming through here are on regular rail trains, plus there's more access to more destinations. It's not hard to see the huge contrast in building design, squares to the north, rounders to the south. What's now the emergency exit used to be signed as a planned second entrance, but now everyone uses the south entrance via the security check. There's also plenty of taxis at the south square. So we're now at the south square of Tangu Railway Station, which you can see is a lot more round than square. If we take a look inside the station, those of you from Shanghai may go, ah, that looks quite similar to Shanghai South Station. So let's check it out. Now I admit that train timetables can be somewhat challenging to read here in China. Less challenging though is the way in. After a quick security check, you're at the ticket hall. Incidentally, they were promoting the recent launch of a cross-city discounted frequent traveler store value card, that's quite a mouthful, at the station on that day. But I also found ticket pickup machines, travel registration kiosks for express pay card holders, and plain vanilla ticket machines. If you need help, there's also the info counter, which is counter number 10, the Shan Hong service desk, which doubles as a barrier-free ticket window. After ticket and ID check, you get to the main station hall, huge and spacious, any way you see it, with a dedicated waiting area for premier class passengers on intercity high-speed rail services. The dome, my favourite feature here at Tengu Railway Station. I came here in 2009 when I departed from the south building here at the station. My absolute favourite was of course the dome. Not as huge as say at Shanghai South, but one of my favourites. If you take the intercity train one station further southeast at Yujapu, you're going to find a dome which might be slightly larger, but it's pretty much along the same lines as the one we have over here at Tengu. This station was last fully expanded and redone in early 2008. The results as found out on my first trip here in 2009 was another moment of wow, with the dome my clear favourite of Tengu. I made it onto the platform I was soon to depart from, that's platform number 3. Nearby though was another train coming in, this one pulling cargo or goods, not people. This is indeed quite a busy station. That's it for me now at Tangu Railway Station. I'm not bound for the exit, I'm bound for my train on platform 3. So I'll see you there. <laughs>